it's always awkward when I turn on the camera and attempt to speak. And uh, so how's it going? It's me again. Um, if you don't know this, well, I am Anna and I am incredibly blessed to be here. With that being said, um, who are you? What are you doing here? You know, I, uh, <sighs> in my previous video, I mentioned how my soul is like, has ignited this passion within me that I cannot explain. It's like, I'm not depressed, but I am just laying down and resting, recharging my energy and literally thinking and reflecting and allowing myself to feel whatever needs to be feel to be able to move to this next step in my path and my journey. I, uh, I am drinking my cup of coffee because I love my coffee. I love coffee. I love water, but I love coffee. Um, it always fills my heart up with warmth and I cannot really explain that. But, um, but yeah, what's your favorite drink? Uh, since I mentioned mine, might as well mention yours, right? But yeah, I, uh, goodness, you know, where does one start to speak and there's just so many aspects to my mind. There's so many like webs that want to be like checked off that I spoke about, you feel me? I, I'm, I, yeah. Um, but I can tell you this is that, what topic? I mean, my heart, my mind. I feel like I, uh, I live a lot of my life and my feelings because my feelings are intentioned with love and light and so i spend a lot of time feeling and uh understanding every like little thought and perspective of what could be or what is or what wasn't or what the doubts and the ego and what the pain in the heart is you feel me like i feel like i reached a point in my life that i simply like understand that i can't control or change anyone's perspective or point of view in the perspective of meaning that I don't have to always agree to someone to do what someone wants me to do. You feel me? Like I have the power to say no. And no is a very powerful word. And I feel like we as women, like we should be able to say no to set our boundaries. You feel me? That we should be able to implement our boundaries even if it seems bizarre to the world, like in the radical way, like that's not, you know? I don't know if that made sense, but I feel like you know what I'm trying to, what I'm attempting to communicate. Um, yeah, I feel like I constantly set boundaries with humans around me and some understand and some don't. Some are very receptive and are very like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You feel me? Because I understand it's not all about me, but it is all about me because it's my life. <laughs> and it's my life and it's my days and overall it's my mental health. You feel me? Like, my mental health is my number one priority. Before I could put anyone after me or before me, it's my mental health and I've learned that and I will always put myself first. And I get that there are circumstances where we, we, we get to lay that wall down and be like, all right, it's okay not to put myself first in the situation, you feel me? But it doesn't mean I gotta do it all the time. Right now, I am at this point in my life where I I keep saying this like there's a bigger calling for me and I refuse to settle and I refuse to give to give in or to give up so whatever that means to me it will make it happen you know like I feel like I came to this world I I arrived to this earth for goals and dreams to achieve and success and just peace and unity you know and sometimes it gets hard when there's so many things in life that are said or done or boundaries or lines crossed that it's like, oh, how do I remain in this frequency of unconditional love when when the love that I feel feels like it's been just, eh, you know? And so it's, it's a little, ah. And so with that, the last few weeks, I feel like I've really been myself in a perspective of like, I was there and then my mind went, oh, time to check in with yourself and clock in within yourself and get back onto your divinity of your spiritual path, like get back to it, you know, like, and I'm battling this like inner thought of like, taking a leap of faith could mean a lot of things, but do I really trust this part of my life? And I'm like, yes, yeah, so what is that leap of faith? I'm figuring it out. And as I'm figuring it out, I'll do my best to document it and to film it. I'll do my best, you know, I, there's a lot of things in this life I'd like to achieve, and 
I refuse to like not give it my all. You feel me? Like there's no way that God sent me down here just to be settling and not pursuing fulfills warmth and joy in my heart. <sighs> did that make sense to you? Or did that not make sense to you? Um did that make sense? I I I hope it did. Because I don't know if it makes sense in my head and I'm doing my best to make sense of it. And creating these videos have allowed me to look back and listen to them and understand myself in a perspective. And it's quite extraordinary. Extraordinary, extra extraordinary I don't whatever, you know what I mean. But I really hope that I got this. <laughs> I hope that I know what I'm doing. I trust the process, I trust my decision making and I trust myself. I trust that God will always guide me where I need to be and I trust that like I'm doing what I need to do that's best for me, for my highest good and everyone around me. So I'm gonna enjoy my cup of coffee. Just enjoy my cup of coffee. It's already summer. What will summer bring us this summer? All the, I don't know, but I hope you have a beautiful summer. I hope that your summer is filled with love, good news, new, new, new newness. Most importantly, unity and love. With that being said, I think that's all my heart wants to like really rant out about. I'm checking out, I'm signing out, and uh, I'll see you all on my next video, which probably should be, good. God only knows, I'm going with the flow, <laughs> right? Right, all right, I'll catch you all later. Drink your coffee and enjoy your day. Salud!